In this clip, introduce a method of multiplying by five using our hands as a calculator. We're going to start with two closed fists. The multiplier is always five. The multiplicon, we're going to count up to, starting on the right, I want to multiply five times two. So I'm going to count one, starting on the right hand, and then going to the left, two. So there's the multiplicon. This represents five times two. Compare the two sets. One is equal to one. If the sets are equal, the right hand equals zero. The left hand represents the tens place. So I have one, zero. You can close all the fingers if you want, but it's much more difficult for me to do it, you know, using the model, but you can do it. Close your hand, close the right hand, and that represents zero, and this represents one. So five times two is 10. Five times three, here's one, two, three. We're gonna alternate the count, count up to the multiplicon. Then we're gonna compare the two sets. Two is not equal to one, the sets are not equal. We are going to open the right hand it now represents five. I'll do it once. Five times three is 15. Five times four, I have one, two, three, four. The sets are equal. Two is equal to two. Right hand represents zero. Left hand represents the tens place. So I have two, zero, 20. Five times five, I have five times four shown here. The count goes one, two, three, four. You're always gonna start with the right hand and alternate. So there's five. So I have three extended fingers on the right and two on the left. The sets are not equal. This right hand now represents a five. The left hand is the tens place. So it's a two and a five. So five times five is 25. Five times eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to close, raise these two, and close the thumb. That's eight. So the sets are equal. Four is equal to four. That means the right hand is a zero. So I have four in the left, that's the tens place. So five times eight is 40. Nine, and here's nine. The sets, five is not equal to four, so the sets are not equal. I'm gonna open my right hand. So nine times five is 45. So about the fives. If it's an even number, two, four, six, and eight, the right hand is a zero. If it's an odd number, three, five, seven, or nine, the right hand is gonna represent five. And the left hand always represents tens number. We've done all the fives now.